Hi guys, this is Lucas and today I'm going to begin doing some videos on a new program called Adobe Edge Animate. This program let you do very interesting things regarding web designing. It will um, uh, let you create various things like animations, websites, everything you want regarding web designing in HTML5, um, which is the latest version of HTML. Um, and it is um, being supported nowadays by many um, browsers. So it is very um, useful. So um, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple slideshow that you can use um, in your website. So first of all, let's open Adobe Edge Animate, create new, and f um, you will see obviously a white um, screen represented by the stage. So first of all, I'm going to change the width and height of the stage. Um, make sure this um, chain is broken and the width, I'm going to change it to 1920 so that it is um, full HD and the height, let's make it 512 pixels. The background, you can leave it whatever you want. I'm going to leave it as a white. So the overflow, make it hidden. Autoplay, make sure um, the checkbox is ticked. Center stage, um, make sure it is ticked as well and make it horizontal. Here, responsive scaling, this is very important. Make sure um, it is checked and uh, here, choose width. Responsive scaling is very important nowadays because um, uh, when you create a website, you don't create it only for them, the desktop um, or for computers only or for laptops. You create, you have to adapt it to tablets, smartphones, and di and many different screen sizes. Therefore, this responsive scaling um, option um, makes sure um, uh, the screen is always um, the width of this particular screen the website is viewed. So then um, I'm going to insert one image that I have right here. Um, I have five images. Um, obviously, these are sample images of my country. Um, uh, just to use for this video, you can use whatever you want. It is very important though, the size that um, uh, I have made right here, because I have made the stage 1920 by 512 and the banners have that same size. Therefore, if you made um, the stage size um, or have the website uh, uh, having the size, uh, a different size, make sure the banner has that specific size. So I'm going to drag one of the banners, which is my first banner, and place it X0 and Y0 so that it is um, aligned exactly um, with the border. Then I'm going to select it and convert it to a symbol. So I'm going to name it banner animation and press enter. Now what I have uh, what I have done here is um, I converted this um, uh, image to a symbol. Therefore, this allows me to have a, v a separate timeline right here. As you can see, this is the timeline of this is the timeline of the image itself. Uh, sorry, of the symbol itself only. If I go here, as you can see, here, there is stage and there is banner animation. Here we have a completely different timeline, which is the main timeline. Therefore, we have to go in the symbol, in this case, banner animation, so that we can change the animation of the symbol, not of the stage. So then when um, uh, you go in the uh, banner animation timeline, you can drag all the other banners that you have. Obviously, this is suggested for very small amount of images, not for example, you have 22 images because we are going to hard code um, the animation. If you have, for example, 22 images, you will not um, be able to, to move around with the animation because it will be too long and too stressful to, for example, change an image. So um, uh, in that case, 
um, you will have to work in a different way which obviously I will do in the future in another video so um, now grab all the new imported banners and make them x0 and y0 so that they are um, in the, uh, aligned with the border as well now I'm going to um, rearrange these banners according so that um, uh, we can work with them so that we can make them fade in um, uh, after each other so um, the first banner is go uh, the last layer is going to uh, be banner one and then banner two and so on and so forth so now that we have arranged all the layers as you can see banner one is uh, the bottom layer and it continues like that now um, you will obviously see the last image right here now we can uh, make the those uh, other banners apart from the first one hidden so that um, we can view the first one only now the first thing is to make the first banner appear from uh, when the page loads so select banner one and go on the um, on the first uh, or the zero second and make um, and check this diamond near the opacity and we have a keyframe change the value to zero so that the image begins from zero opacity then go on one second and make the opposite 100 and, and as you can see now right now if we play by pressing the spacebar we will have a very simple fade in animation now to make uh, the motion a bit more um, uh, interesting instead of linear we are going to go on this icon right here of the graph and make it ease out and cubic so that we have some easing on the motion now the next thing is to make the second one appear so it is very important to um, leave a bit of seconds right here so that the banner one will appear for those seconds I'm going to leave an interval of four seconds from one I'm going to go to the fifth second and then the second banner will appear so I'm going to do the exact same thing I'm going to click on this diamond right here near the opacity and drag the value to zero I'm going to go on the sixth second a second after um, uh, a second after the uh, the beginning of the animation and make it 100 and here we can see if we now tick um, to make it to, to show the layer we can see the second image appears and that is exactly what we want so I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other banners so that they appear four seconds after um, uh, the image has been displayed um, and obviously they will fade in um, and we will continue from there so I now have made um, the other three banners fade in so as you can see right here if we show the layers right now we can see that after the second one the third one appears four seconds pass by the fourth one appears four seconds pass by and the last one appears so the next thing is to stop the animation after it has finished so we do that in a very simple way after we have shown the fifth or last um, banner that we want we are going to leave um, four seconds so that it will show for another four seconds so from 20 I'm going to go on 24 and press sorry um, this button right here insert trigger or control T and this window should pop up here we are going to tell the system to stop so I'm going to type in sim dot stop and open and close brackets and semicolon at the end and close and now when the animation plays it will play till now till now 
and here it will stop show it right now we can see uh, what we have right now it is exactly what we want we want to uh, to have the banners fade in after each other and now after the fifth one is showed it will stop and it will not loop so if you want it like that you can do it like we did it um, uh, a bit earlier this time so to do it um, uh, loopable so that it begins again from the first um, banner you will have to do uh, some, something a bit different so what you have to do is you need to make the banner one appear again and then begin from the second banner so that it is seamless because if you tell tell it to begin again from banner one here it will show a blank screen and it will not be neat so to do that we are going to use a very simple technique so that we can uh, bluff the the viewer obviously so um, we're going to copy and paste the first banner right here and as you can see um, and let's place it above all the other banners so as you can see right here the first banner reappears again after the last one so now we have the first banner appearing again now let's move the trigger to appear uh, sorry to uh, be executed four seconds after the first banner has reappeared re appeared again so from 25 i'm going to go to 29 and then i'm going to tell it to play from this from this part so that from here from this image right here like this we are going to jump again on this timeline right here so that we can make it seamless so it is very easy to do so go exactly where where the second banner begins to fade in and press ctrl l and it will create a label and here we are going to name it start animation start underscore animation sorry because it a generate doesn't let you um, make spaces and here on the trigger if we double click it we can change the code right here and here we are going to tell it sim dot play open and close right there and in between the brackets we are going to write start animation which is the um uh, which is the uh, label we created now start animation so here the banners are going to play fade in uh, one after each other and then here the system will um, will have sim.play and start animation so it will go back again on the timeline find start animation and it will begin again from there and it will loop like that so if we save it and press ctrl enter to view um, uh, what has is happening here we can see the first one appears second one third one fourth fifth and now the first one that we copied will appear the user will think it will, will it will be the first one now we are going to tell it to play again the start animation and it will begin from the second one it will it will go like that forever so um uh, as you can see um it is very easy to control the animation that you have by um creating labels it will it is very simple it's like creating a video when you use keyframes but instead these are simple animations that you use for your website to make it even better here i have a very a simple example of another version of the banner this is a website i created with edge animate only using edge animate and as you can see the banners slide in slide in one after each other 
um, of the, uh, and then here you have the menu with all the different colors the logo which is turning around these places which are um, animating them themselves so it is very cool now for example in this our project page you can see that these uh, here you have three buttons and if you click you will have all the projects related to them so these are all things that you can create with edge animate and in future videos i will show you how to create them so that's it for this video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe